Welcome to this next module in our YouTube tutorials. So what we're going to be looking at in this example is we're going to be taking an employee file. So here we've got an Excel file. It's called the employee master. And what it's got is, is it's got two sheets. So basically we're looking here and we've got a list of training courses that our employees have been on. So you can see we've got an employee ID over here. So each employee ID could have been on many training courses and we've got a number of different training courses here. We've also got a master file. So then we've got a master file for each employee. So here we've got some key master information such as the age or the marital status, their gender, which department they are, even length of service. So we've got a master file and we've got a training file. Now we want to bring the two of these together into our Power BI and then we want to be able to work with this and produce a dashboard. So we're going to cover the dashboard in the next tutorial. But for now, let's bring this into Power BI and have a look at it. Okay, we're going to load Power BI and have a look at this. Okay, so we've loaded our Power BI now and we've got a blank Power BI. So our first step is we're going to get some data and we're going to go to Excel and we're going to load our employee master Excel file. So we're quickly going to do this. Okay, you'll see that we have two tables over here and two sheets. They're actually showing the same information. So all we're going to do is just pick our two tables and you'll see the Power BI gives us a preview of the information that we're using. So in this case, we're going to load this data. I'm going to click on load and this will load it in. Power BI now is busy creating some connections. It's looking at our data. It's looking at some data types and relationships between this. It's looking to see if it can automatically pick up relationships or any other information. So let's have a, a bit of a look at the structure of this data and what's been done. Okay, so first, if we look over here, we've got our relationships. And what you'll see is that immediately is that Power BI did pick up that there's a relationship between the employee ID in the workshops and the employee ID in the master table. So it's created automatic a many to one relationship over here. So we don't need to do that. So it's all automatically got the relationship. If we look at our data, we'll see that we've got two tables of data over here. So we've got our master data it shows us the employee's names, the ages, race, marital status, gender, information we saw in Excel. We also have the workshops data over here. So as we said, now there's a relationship between these two. So we can actually create information between the two tables. And we're going to have a look at that and we're going to see how we can create a table and a visual just now. However, before we do that, let's have a look at maybe our marital status and our gender over here. So maybe we want to do a little bit of work on this. Maybe we, instead of having M and S for mar uh, married and single, we might want to have married and single there. Or instead of having M and F for gender, we might want to have male and female. This is where our edit queries comes into place. So we're going to have a look at how we edit a query here. And we're going to pull up our edit query on onto this. Okay, so this is our query editor. And you'll see in here, there's a lot of powerful features. Now, if you're familiar with Power Query in Excel, then you'll know a lot of what this can do. We're just going to use this very simply for now. We're just going to do a, a very quick transformation. So we're going to take marital status. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a replace values over here. And we're actually going to say that it needs to find M and put as married. And you can see now that all the M's have been changed to married. So I'm going to follow the same process and we're going to change S to single, male to, uh, M to male and F to female. So let's do that. Okay, so you'll see now that we've completed that list of transformations and we've got all the new words over there. What you'll see over here is that we've got a list of applied steps. You can almost see query editor as a macro. So what it does each time we refresh this data source, if we get new data, is it'll automatically on refreshing this where we'll automatically do these transformations for us. Now, as we say, the query editor is extremely powerful. And in our training, we go further into what the query editor can do in a lot of the different types of transformations. But for now, we're going to stick with this. We're going to close and apply. And we'll see now that this has updated the structure of our data over here. Okay, so we've got our two data sources, our two tables. Let's have a look and see what this does within a Power BI report. So now I can actually use fields from both of these across the two tables. So in this case, say for example, I wanted to know what is my total training cost by gender. I can pick my gender and you'll see that my genders come up and I can pick my cost over here, for example. And you see straight away I have my cost. And again, I could just uh, change that into a graph if I want to, or into a different type of graph. We're going to look in the next tutorial. We're going to look a little bit more at some of these graphs. I'm going to put these together. This is just a quick example. Another one I might want to do is say, for example, look at my department. And again, I might want to know my total training cost. And you can see I'm just selecting the two of these over here. And again, maybe change the method of visualization. Okay, so in this tutorial, we've had a very quick look at the fact of being able to bring in two tables of data, create a relationship between the two of them. We've also looked at how we could transform some basic data 
and then we've shown how the relationships work. In the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can create a dashboard from this and be able to take this up onto the internet. Okay, we look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.